With winter ahead, the seasons often shake up many people's moods. KUJH reporter Libby McAnulty says shorter days with less daylight can cause seasonal affective disorder. For some people, fall is the best time of the year. Trees changing color and leaves falling make them feel cozy. But for one KU student, fall is just the beginning of a dark time. For me, I find myself getting up and still being really tired. So from about Halloween to the end of the semester, usually I just am focusing, my, forcing myself, if you will, to be awake and focusing on things because your brain just isn't where it should be. According to the Mayo Clinic, seasonal affective disorder is a type of depression that's related to changes in seasons. One KU doctor says it's not uncommon to have seasonal affective disorder. This certainly is a type of mood decrease or depression. And we see it happens with a lot of people. It's, you know, about this time of the year and winter time, a lot of people start feeling more tired, more hungry, their mood is down, they don't seem to have as much energy. Dr. Strother says seasonal affective disorder is preventable and easily treated. Well, certainly getting as much time in the sun as you can as possible. So let's say you've got an hour between classes. Get out and walk in the sunshine if it's a sunny day. Try to sit if you're studying near a window where you're getting some sunshine. Dr. Strother also says if you're feeling like walking in the sun isn't enough, you can always purchase light boxes to get more exposure to UV rays. Reporting in Lawrence, I'm Libby McAnulty, KUJH News. If you're exercising, eating healthy, and getting a sufficient amount of sleep and are still feeling depressed, then it may be time to visit your doctor for more help. 